Hello and welcome back to my channel. I don't have, again, I don't have a quirky, um, I, I just, I don't have a quirky opening for these videos because they're hard for me to do and they're hard for America to deal with and we're still reeling from Georgia and just a few days later, here I am again, five, six days later, reporting on a, a, another mass, a mass shooting. And it's hard. I, I, let's just, I, I, I don't know. It's, yeah. Alright, so, um, on March 16th, the shooter buys a weapon. Just days, just days before, just, just, just days before, he goes and he buys a weapon. Um, we need better gun control in this country. The fact that both cases in the last week, the shooter bought the weapon just hours and days before enacting this, is, is unbelievable to me. People with mental illness should not have access to guns, we need to close those loopholes. There needs to be red flag laws. When someone is suffering from obvious paranoia, which this person was, they should not be allowed to own a gun, let alone a weapon that can kill 10 people. There aren't wounded people out there. There are just 10 people that are now dead because we don't have laws that allow for people who shouldn't have guns to not have guns. We just allow everyone and anyone, if you're not a convicted felon, and even in this case, all private gun sellers can sell their weapons because they don't do background checks to people who shouldn't have weapons. Okay. March 22nd. At King's Shopper, 2.40 p.m., Border Police are called to the King's Shopper at 36 Tabo Molesta Drive, for a report of an actor shooters. Witnesses tell emergency dispatchers that a male suspect shot another man in a vehicle parked inside the store and shot at others. Multiple people report hiding in the store. At this point, at this time frame, he walks up and he shoots a man in his car. Then he walks up to another man in the parking lot. He shoots him, stands over him, and shoots him several more times. It was an elderly man. Why? Just why? 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 This is senseless. This isn't something I should have to be reporting on on a weekly basis. This is not something I should have to be talking about constantly on my channel. <sighs> okay. 249, Border Police announced that the active, there's an active shooter and instruct people to avoid the area and the area of the grocery store. Nine minutes in, we already know of at least two people are down and dead. The shooter is inside the building. Accounts from, accounts from people inside the building. There are people that are exiting through the loading dock, hiding in bathrooms, cowering in aisles. This is what America's come to. You go grocery shopping and you have to worry about whether you're gonna have to exit through the loading dock to keep from being shot or hide in a bathroom or a closet or in the grocery aisles themselves to keep safe. That is where we are. Time unknown, Officer Richard Stadel responds to the scene to help search for the suspect. He observes Officer Eric Talley down, apparently deceased. Stadel observes the suspect shooting an assault rifle towards him. Officer Eric Talley had seven kids. He was a father. A father of seven. A decorated police officer. Who was doing his job appropriately, which is more than what we can say for the Parkway cop. And it got him killed. Because we don't have common sense gun law in this country. I'm tired. I'm tired of reporting on this. I'm tired of seeing the faces. I'm tired of seeing the pain and the anguish and the hurt that is caused by people who shouldn't have guns to having free and easy access. And then, yeah. Okay. 
I'm a known officer, Fre officer Frederick posts outside the east doors, building on the north side, observe SWAT, enter the building with a portable body shield, drag Tally's body out of the parking lot. Frederick hears shots, SWAT speaking to someone and see the shooter walking backwards toward the SWAT team and they take him into custody. 328. Suspect is taken into custody and transported to the hospital for a gunshot wound to the right thigh. I hope it fracking hurts. I hope somebody sticks their finger in it and just, and I hope that they don't give you painkillers and I hope that everything terrible that can be terrible, I hope you get sepsis. 10 p.m. Search warrants are signed for the shooter's residence and more guns are found. 10 15. Um, a, 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 a police begin to send information to the Boulder police regarding the search warrant for his residence, blah, 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 blah. March 23rd, 1.30 a.m., uh, last victim is removed from the scene. 12 hours later, the last last body. This body is lying, lying in the grocery store for 12 hours. Because this is what America is now. You go grocery shopping and your body lays there for 12 hours. By 2.02 a.m., all victims are identified. Can you imagine getting that call? Your family member's dead. This is America. Where we value guns more than people. All families of the victims are notified and the Boulder police release the names. They were still as young as 20. They were babies. These were people's loved ones. They were people's kids, grandparents, parents, friends, Sisters, brothers. When are we going to wake up and realize that human life is more important than an assault rifle? Is more important than allowing every Tom, Dick, and Harry to have a gun? I Again, I don't want to take your guns if you are a normal law-abiding citizen, but if you have domestic violence, if you have paranoid thoughts like this person did, I don't, I don't think you should have a gun and we need to seal up common sense gun law. <sighs> Keep that morning, eight o'clock in the morning. The press releases go out. We find out the names. We find out the name of the shooter. Um, the stories coming out of there are horrific. The fact that there weren't injuries. There were just 10 people that were alive and then they weren't because someone decided that they wanted to be a mass, mass murderer and kill a bunch of people. And we care more about guns than we do people. We are the only first world country that has this problem and hasn't addressed it. Australia, New Zealand, England, all addressed it all have significantly less shootings. And when they do have a mass, mass thing of violence, like mass stabbings, their casualty count at its highest is four. Four. And four is not very often. It's normally one or two. We're looking at 10, eight, 26. Because we will not address the issue at hand. We'll offer you thoughts and prayers. But we won't introduce common sense gun law. We won't introduce red flag laws. We won't introduce closing the loopholes that allow people to buy guns under the radar at gun shows and from private sellers. Do you know that when we put an assault rifle ban, shootings went down? When the assault rifle ban was removed, shootings went up. Did you know that when Australia put their gun ban in, their mass shootings basically stopped? Not only did they stop, but suicides went down, gun deaths went down, gun violence went down significantly. These were people who had families that are now grieving. I beg of you. 
to call your congressman, your senator, and tell them that we need common sense guns and that we need to stop the insanity. Because I don't want to keep reporting on this. I don't want to have to keep looking at people who lived lives and were decent people. And murdered. I don't. I don't have it in me. And I'm sure you don't either. And for those of you who are going to come in my comment section and say that gun control doesn't work, I will point you to another video where I put statistics and stats up from other countries, and even from our own, that show that they do. Again, I don't want to take all of your guns. I just want the people who don't need to have guns to not have them. The domestic abusers, the people who have paranoia, the people that go on social media and post that they want to do this kind of stuff should not have access to guns. Red flag laws are probably one of the most important laws that we can put into place. So again, call your congressman, call your senator, and let them know that this has to stop. And I will see you guys later.